just about 1216 on your Wednesday. Today is a WJZ alert day. Round one of the rain is just about out of here. Round two is edging into western Maryland. It's thanks to a strong cold front, and that front has actually triggered a severe thunderstorm warning because of the wind. So this is Fort Garrett, and then this tiny sliver of Allegheny County until 1230. The main threat, we're looking at damaging wind gusts, potentially up to 60 miles an hour. And there's also the possibility for some small hail. Remember that Garrett and Allegheny counties are also under this wind advisory through tomorrow morning. So it's a very interesting system because based on what it looks like on the radar, you would just not think that this kind of light rain could trigger that kind of storms, but it's the wind within this system that really is the top concern. So damaging winds are possible across the state. I do think the strongest of the winds seem to stay to the north and west of the Baltimore area, but the winds we're looking at right now are the sustained winds. 17 for Rock Hall, 13 in Easton, 14 in Baltimore, 17 in the district, and then the gusts have been in the 20s. That's going to pick up, though. I think we see the peak winds mid to late afternoon, and those numbers could be into the 40s, maybe even at 50. So we'll time that out in just a second. But your out the door numbers, if you're headed out and about, we are in the low to mid 50s, and we are going to warm into the low 60s. We'll have just about time to get to the low 60s before the cold front knocks temperatures down. Taking a look at the rain, so there's this line. This is the line that's over far western Maryland right now. So by 1 o'clock, moving into Washington and Frederick County, and then by 2, 3 o'clock, into Baltimore and Harford counties. And then it's out of here, as are the clouds. So we ditch the clouds very quickly this evening. By the evening, temperatures are already going to be tumbling down into the 40s. Let's talk about these winds. So here we are, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I mentioned I do think the winds peak somewhere between 2 to 4 p.m. for central Maryland here. So wind gusts into the 30s and even the mid to maybe even upper 40s, a couple places stand the chance to see those gusts up to 50. Then they start to drop off. They don't die out, though, entirely. They just start to drop off a little bit. So gusts down into the 30s by later on this evening, overnight into the 30s, and then we start our Thursday with gusts potentially into the 30s and then down into the 20s later on. But tomorrow is going to be a very typical day after a cold front where it's going to be very bright, dry, but also breezy and chilly. Here we are today, this high of 62 degrees. We'll take a look, though, at the seven-day forecast, including overnight temperatures tonight based on that cold front. That's coming up in just a moment. Lynn.